So there were a couple of questions that came up in the discussion board about um, my snowman ran render, and I wanted to answer um, a few questions as quickly as possible. Um, the first question that came up is, um, uh, I'm going to focus on the mountains in the background. There, now, there's two things happening uh, with the mountains in the background. Uh, the first is just the modeling aspect of it. I'll address that now, and then later I'll address... Um, in a separate presentation, I'll address the depth of field function. Um, depth of field is causing the mountains in the background to fall out of focus and draw attention to the subject of the snowman. And so as you look back in space, you can see things, that start, things start to fall out of focus. But for now, I want to focus just really quickly on the mountain build. And the technique that I use to build those mountains, uh, we're simply using uh, pyramids. Now, um, I'm going to adjust my display to look at some kind of view with lines, and what I'll do is I'll bump up my, my segmentation just a bit. I'm going to bump up my segmentation to three for this pyramid. And um, what I'll do just to demonstrate this is that in, in my image here, I used um, two different pyramids. I used the pyramid on the top to describe the snow, and I used a, a larger pyramid underneath and stuck the snow cap on top of it. Uh, in order to um, create this effect. So it's one pyramid stacked on top of another, and then I just modeled uh, the edge of the uh, pyramid really quickly. And so um, basically what I can do is I'm going to duplicate this. I'll, I'll copy and paste so I have um, a real quick duplicate. Now, I don't actually need all the segmentation on the bottom one because this will be the base of my mountain. And what I'll do is I'll just maybe um, I'll bump this up. I'll double it in size. Okay, so I, I've... I've set the bottom pyramid to 400 and the top pyramid I left at the default. And uh, just to draw a little bit of contrast, I'll apply a texture, a gray texture to the bottom pyramid. Uh, the top pyramid is going to receive a white texture. Now before I apply the, the pyramid, uh, the texture to the top pyramid, um, I, I can apply the texture right now, but I'm just going to focus on the modeling aspect of it. What I ended up doing is I made the pyramid editable. I, I went into the live select tool and I went into point mode i got to back up. I made the wrong pyramid editable. I forgot I had the bottom one still selected. So I'm just going to Command-Z to undo. I'll select the top pyramid. I'll make that one editable. And what I did is I just grabbed these points and I moved them. Now, the technique that I used was not simply lifting these up and, and moving them over, although that would do just fine. I just need to be you know fairly precise about how, how I do that. Um, I used a, a slightly different technique, which was once I selected uh, the point, I went un up under mesh and let's see mesh transform and slide. So I went to the mesh menu, transform tools, and I chose slide. And what slide is going to do, um, I'll look at this from the side view, is I can click and move this point around, and what it does is it stays snapped to the um, to the mesh itself. So basically what I'm doing is I can really quickly kind of move these points around if I use this slide tool. Um, and it actually won't move outside the bounding box of, of the mesh. So it's basically just kind of um, moving and sliding it um, uh, based on the surface polygons here. So it's, it's moving it um, parallel to uh, the surface of the line, the edge, or the polygon. And so really quickly I can just kind of dirty up um, the edge here. I'll just do this really quickly. And now when I throw uh, the snow cap on it, I can just take this. I want to make sure I go back into model mode here. And I'll just move that back down. And I left it kind of sit off on the side just a little bit so it will catch a little bit of a shadow. Um, but that's how I created a really stylized mountain effect for in the background. So then, of course, I would take these two objects and group them together. And now I would give that an appropriate name, and that's something that I could uh, place in the background. So um, that was the mountain technique. I'll share some additional techniques with you in the next presentation.